Like all former undrafted rookies, Philip Lindsay has had to work for every opportunity he's ever received in the NFL. There is no unseen force supporting him in the background, like draft pedigree, nor is there a monetary interest on the part of the team to see him succeed. Lindsay had to scrape and claw to make the Denver Broncos roster as a rookie back in 2018, and he did that. What ensued was an unprecedented Pro Bowl campaign for Lindsay. The next year, Lindsay's production continued, although some of the explosive big plays that punctuated his rookie year were a little fewer and farther between. However, he still eclipsed the coveted 1,000-yard rushing barrier for the second straight season. Along the way, Lindsay had to vanquish a trio of running back rivals whom the Broncos had invested draft picks in within the previous three seasons. Devontae Booker, a 2016 fourth-round pick, vanquished. David Williams, a 2018 seventh-rounder, dusted. Royce Freeman, a 2018 third-round pick, marginalized. Heading into his third year, if Lindsay is going to maintain his spot as the king of Denver's running back hill, he's going to have to vanquish a new threat, Melvin Gordon. The Broncos signed the ex-Chargers first-round running back to a two-year, $16 million deal this past spring. As much as that initially upset him, seeing an outside back garner the payday he believes should rightfully go to him by virtue of his contributions to the Broncos, Lindsay is doing his level best to maintain an optimistic posture on the topic when in the scrutiny of the public. Lindsay once again was asked about the Gordon edition, and he tried to keep the tonality positive. Lindsay told the team's site, quote, Yeah, I mean, definitely it was a positive in the long run. It's a long season. You need more than one back to do it. Like I said, it's a good addition for us. My reaction at the end of the day, does it matter? He's here, I'm here. When I get the opportunity to be in the game, I'm going to make explosive plays. That's what it's all about. I'm going to go from there. Close quote. One new factor added to the Lindsay equation is the recent birth of his son. As a new father, Lindsay views his mandate to be that of a provider. However, Lindsay's on schedule to make $750,000 in 2020. Gordon will earn $8 million, more than 10 times Lindsay's salary. One is a homegrown star that literally carried the Broncos' offense for the better part of two years. The other is an outside hire brought in to ostensibly provide a more developed skill set as a pass blocker and receiver out of the backfield. It's not difficult to understand why Lindsay is still a little saucy on the subject. Gordon won't have it easy when it comes to garnering running back supremacy in Denver. On the subject of fatherhood, Lindsay said, quote, It brings something else to the table for me. At the end of the day, it does make it a big deal to be able to feed my kid. And that's what it comes down to. And the fact is, I'm going to do that. So it doesn't matter who they pay for or who they brought in. They've got to get through me, and it's very hard to do that. Close quote. Indeed, since high school, no running back that's ever crossed Lindsay's orbit has been able to keep him off the field. Viewed now through the lens of a father, out to earn a fortune, to provide for a lifetime for his son, Lindsay's outlook has only intensified. Like most former undrafted players, he's always on the hunt for any motivator that'll add to the chip on his shoulder. Remember, undrafted guys have to prove themselves daily and justify their jobs through their works. There is no draft pedigree to rest on, and in Lindsay's case, there's also no high-dollar contract the team is committed to extracting a return on to protect him from the vagaries of competition. Lindsay and Gordon will cross swords beginning at the end of July when the Broncos return for training camp. It's going to be fun to see not only how the competition shakes out, but also what offensive coordinator Pat Shermer has in store for utilizing and maximizing the talents of both backs. Because regardless of one's view of the Gordon addition, as Lindsay himself said, the reality is, he's here now. The Broncos are in for a dime, in for a dollar. No matter which player wins the nominal starting job and or the lion's share of the game day snaps, Gordon has unique talents that can help upgrade the Broncos' offense. The onus is on Coach Shermer to find a way to maximize Gordon's skill set. Just don't expect it to come too much at the expense of Lindsay's playing time. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.